Hello everybody and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Very quick addendum to the chill pill build that I posted earlier today. Another option you have for this build is a continuous process. So both of the versions of the build that I showed off in the original video were batch processes. They used a timer circuit with automation uh, to basically have distinct periods where uh, the pills were being loaded or unloaded or sort of resting, dwelling in the system. Uh, and the main advantage of that is that it saves you on power because you're using your uh, auto sweepers less frequently, you're using your conveyor loaders less frequently, and that sort of minimizes the power cost of the build. But if you're at a stage of the game where you don't really care about power, um, you might care a little bit more about materials and conserving your use of rare and expensive materials, right? Less refined metals, less steel in particular. And uh, to accomplish that, one of the things you can do is use a continuous process. Uh, so here we have exactly that. We have, instead of a timer circuit controlling this whole thing, we just have um, two individual sets of auto sweepers that are constantly picking up from this conveyor receptacle, loading them, uh, loading the pills into a refrigerator, reset their temperature, and then loading them back into a conveyor loader to circulate through the system. If I go through the shipping overlay, right, I just basically have some sort of heat exchanger going through with all this, uh, these thermal aqua tuners. Uh, because of uh, the lower temperature of these uh, vitamin chews that are coming in, because they're being reset more often, because of the lower temperature, we're able to actually get these thermal aqua tuners down to gold amalgam, whereas before they were uh, using steel. And uh, so that's a big advantage. Not having to use any steel in this build uh, is sort of a big deal, or at least limiting your use of steel to the conveyor rail and not having to build these 1,200 kilogram steel thermal aqua tuners. Uh, and we're supporting the same number of thermal aqua tuners as before. Um, and basically, the only real downside to the system is that we're going to use a little bit more than double the power, right? Because in, before we had two auto sweepers and they weren't constantly on. Uh, there was a little bit of downtime. Likewise, this conveyor loader was not constantly on. There was a little bit of downtime in the system, kind of programmed into the way that we had set the timer circuit. Uh, so this system is going to use more power, um, roughly double give or take, uh, because we're using twice as many um, auto sweepers and we're probably having a little bit more uptime on the system in terms of everything moving about. Uh, so that is the downside of this, is that it is going to be a little bit more power intensive, but we're not talking about a huge amount. We're talking about basically an extra 240 watts. And the upside of it is that you can make your system more compact and use things like gold amalgam instead of uh, steel. I didn't quite succeed in making this build use uh, less in the way of materials. We definitely save up here, these uh, refrigerators can be made out of granite, these auto sweepers can be made out of iron, right? You don't need steel or ceramic parts uh, in this top half of the build because I've separated things out thermally. Uh, but I did end up having just to barely get, we, we basically need the uh, vitamin chews to come in at 20 degrees Celsius and leave at 70.6 degrees to perfectly balance out the heat that is being produced by these thermal aqua tuners. Uh, to get that, I had to install a few temp shift plates around here. And I also kind of have this double sandwich layer of uh, aluminum metal tile. So we saved on steel and we saved on ceramic in, in a pretty big way, but I kind of had to spend a little bit more on aluminum to make this thing work, just at least for this size, for this shape. Obviously there's a lot of different tweaks you can do to this to make it uh, perhaps a little bit more efficient. Um, and I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised to see builds that, that accomplish this, but this just kind of demonstrates, right? Before we were using steel aqua tuners more or less at their limit. Now we're using gold aqua tuners at their limit. That's a pretty big temperature difference, right? 325 versus 175 is, is pretty big. Um, and so again, we're, we're taking more power because we're resetting these pills more often, but because we're resetting the pills more often, we're getting them colder on average uh, which means the heat transfer is going to be a little bit more effective, which means we can afford a more compact build, afford lower temperature materials, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So just a quick video, just a quick little showcase of this. Um, this gets rid of all the automation. If the automation, the timer circuit was a little bit confusing, um, it uses more power, but it saves you on materials. Uh, and so there is basically other designs out there for this sort of chill pill system. And this is just showcasing one of them, right? Uh, Thermal regulator, or sorry, thermal aqua tuners, we can still support six of them. I've got a metal aluminum tile heat exchanger down here. Uh, we don't have to use ceramic or steel in any of these parts up here because I've thermally separated it. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, pretty straightforward. And uh, that's it for the episode. So uh, uh, catch you guys next time.